Um, now, Maria Concepcion, and perhaps you guys might want to pass the ball to the ladies on this one, but she says, uh, she's from Tempe, Arizona, she says, my family says that engineering is not for women, but you were telling me that there are several women engineers that you see there at JPL, right? But it is something that we need to perhaps foster in, in, in okay. the field, that women engineers, it's something perhaps we need to see some growth in, but there yeah. are women engineers out there. Yeah, engineering is not for women. Well, that's, yes. that's news for the women I know at JPL. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there's a lot of women there, and so of course, of course it's for women. It's for anyone that wants to do it. Oh, and you know, the engineering field is, is very broad. You know, right. there are electrical engineers, industrial engineers, mechanical engineers, computer science, information technology. So saying that um, engineering is not for women, you know, that, that's a very bad generalization, you know. And right. uh, there's so many different fields and careers that you can build up on from engineering that um, are suitable for women. They will enjoy working on it. And I think we need to get rid of that stigma. Right. You know, we do need more women engineers in general. That's what I was gonna say. Not only is it not true, we need more of them. Right. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. We're coming to the end of the show, and I really would like to hear from you. Perhaps, what is one of your proudest moments in your career? At your just one moment that made you think, "This is amazing. I can't believe I'm here." Is there is there one moment in your careers where you've where you've felt that? Uh, I guess one of my moments was uh, in 2003. Um, I had been on the uh, Spitzer Space Telescope. Now, for people who may not know, can you explain a little bit about the Spitzer Space Telescope? The Spitzer what is that? Space Telescope is a telescope that is going around the sun, trying to look for planets uh, uh, using infrared radiation. That, that stars and quasars and galaxies emit and planets and all that. But uh, I was saying, so I was on the Spitzer uh, Space Telescope for, for a while, and even though I wasn't there, when, when we saw on the TV monitor the spacecraft launching from, from uh, the Cape, uh, that was really amazing. That must have been amazing to see. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was amazing. Wow. Okay. Uh, what, one of the, the first defining moments for me was about three, or, about three years into college, you know, I would come back to work at JPL for the summer. So uh, when I came back that summer, I asked my supervisor at the time what my task was going to be for, for that three-month period. And he said, all right, your task is going to be to design a lift fixture for Cassini. Now, Cassini is a spacecraft about the size of a bus, but turned up on, you know, turned upright. So it's a pretty tall and thin spacecraft. And so I, I got to figure out what kind of attach points Cassini had for me to be able to lift off of. And I made some drawings of what I thought we would need to, to lift. And then other engineers reviewed my work and they said, all right, go ahead and build it. So then I took these drawings to the shop and they fabricated you know, this lift fixture which was made up of a few components. And then I got to test it to make sure it was, it was gonna resist. And, and then towards the end of the summer, I mean, this, took, this took most of the summer. Towards the end of the summer, they, they needed it. They, there was a deadline that I had to meet. So we go off to use it and we're in this big clean room and uh, you, this is the first time they're gonna lift this big spacecraft and it's a billion dollar spacecraft. So uh, there's a group of people in the room and I'm off in the corner mm -hmm. and I see my, my lift fixture go up on the hook all the way up, up and up and over the spacecraft. Then they bring this, the lift fixture down to the spacecraft and there's people on scaffolds that are attaching this thing. And then they unbolt the spacecraft at, at the floor and then up it goes into the air and I'm thinking, wow. They trusted me to hang this billion dollar spacecraft <laughs> off of my lift fixture. That, that was a big deal for me. Oh, as well it should be. That's amazing. <laughs> Alfonso, one of your proudest moments at work. Well, um, you know, every time we have a, a, a big landing uh, for one of these rovers, you know, there's uh, an event called the Planet Fest that's organized in Pasadena. 
And uh, when we landed the, the Sojourner, we had uh, a Spanish session for the, for the Sojourner. And I, I guess my proud moment was that my mother was there. And oh. um, so that, that made me very proud. You know, she, she's very proud of what I do. And, um, you know, that, that makes me also very proud. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I, I can't imagine how many people you've inspired with your stories and your experience and encouraged to stay with it. Alfonso, you and I were talking about it before the show, and, and no matter what it is you decide to do, if it's engineering, if it's space exploration, whatever, no matter what it is, I guess the most important thing is perseverance, right? That's right. Dedication and perseverance. Right. It certainly was a case in each one of your stories. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. And we want to remind you that we also have a show coming up at 7 p.m. And that will be with female engineers. Um, it promises to be really interesting. We encourage you to keep sending in your questions. Remember, the address, the email address is lsacnational at gmail.com. That's lsacnational at gmail.com. Um, you can also join us at uh, latinograduate.net in the future to watch this show again it will be archived you can watch other archive shows and you can get information um, for parents for students on careers on colleges and most importantly on um, making sure that our children get the guidance that they need in order to become professional successful professionals in the future. We thank you so much for joining us and we invite you to come back for our 7 p.m. broadcast. Thank you so much. Cry.